YouTube. Welcome to my shop. I'm Mike Hedness, Round 2 Woodworks, and I appreciate you stopping by. Uh, what I'm going to do um, this session is uh, I, I thought about making a, a, a display case for my old Stanley number 45, 7 and 1. You know, something about this old plane just intrigues me. I, I've used it a couple of times. It's it's not something that I'll use a lot, but it's just unique. It, it's an old Stanley Sweetheart, uh, probably circa 1920. So um, I imagine then as now it's kind of space age looking. So I'm going to build a display case. What I've, I'm building it out of is uh, some walnut that I had, some eight quarter stock walnut. And then uh, I had some bamboo left over from uh, the, the drawers on my saw blade containers. So I, I uh, resawed that down. I'm going to have, going to have panels, and I'm going to have columns, styles, and rails for this display case with a plexiglass front. I've got kind of a little idea on what it's going to look like, but. That's not saying it's going to look like that. I may change it quite a bit. So uh, I've already started, of course, Melon. I'll show you all about the, how I did that, and uh, let's uh, start putting this together and see how uh, how a old uh, display case uh, shows off an old 1920s hand plane.
stock all cut for the display case one by ones by various lengths to keep the the, the old Stanley in and then I've got everything numbered D F E and then I've made a, a, a little plan to help me kind of guide myself so I don't make too many mistakes now I wish I was like Jay Bates it could go in and probably do a whole display case in a half hour, you know, using SketchUp with, with exact measurements and dados and rabbits and everything. Unfortunately, I'm not that good. It'd take me a week to do that. So this took me about a half hour. So let me show you what I've, uh, I've been doing and then uh, we'll go from there. All right, the way I do it, this is the, from the top view down. I kind of color code everything. Um, so just the the plain pencil would be the styles you know the styles now um then i've got uh uh the the things the uh, rails that go between the styles you know and uh then i have the panels that I've already resawn. So now I as I say I color code everything like uh, A through G they're one by one by nine and an eighth these are the the columns and then H's J H's uh, I's and J's so it, it just kind of helps me if I color code them and and uh, use the color J is red so I just kind of keep all the pieces so now I got to start uh, joining these things up these are going to have dados so now most places that would have a joint would join them like this with the 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 uh, tenon head but uh, I'm going to do the tenon this way so I can see it, just so I can see it. I don't know how good it'll come out, but we'll see. All right, let's finish up these grooves and dados. We'll start to be able to put it together. Point oh seven eight. I'm looking for. There you go. Little, just a little.
perfect. 0 0.078. That's just a little more than a sixteenth of an inch. So I'm going to take I'm going to take the panels and uh, I'm going to take just a, a little bit off so they'll fit in the, the grooves. The groove is a quarter inch. These, this is three eighths. So I got to do that. And then, man, check out the. Uh, Check out my, my shop is like filthy. I don't have, I mean, room to put anything. So after this procedure, getting the panels shaved down, I gotta stop and put everything up and get everything organized. <laughs> oh boy. Well, let's get the gluing it up and uh, start to see what it looks like. Well, it's coming along. You know, I cut those panels to width and I knew it. Uh, and I knew I had to cut them to length or to, to the height of the thing. So I don't know why I wasted my time dadoing the top of them when I knew I had to cut them to the, to the exact length. So. Anyway, it's coming along, I think. Uh, there's some tweaking that's got to be done here and there, but, uh, you know, the, the top is next and uh, a little trim, and we'll see where it goes from there. Okay, starting to glue it up, starting to look like a display case, I think. Either a display case or a jail, I'm not quite sure, but anyway, so I'll let this dry overnight, and then tomorrow I'll come out in the morning and put the, the crown rails on, let that dry, and then it's just sand, sand, sand until finish, and, uh, and then I've got to put the, the front plexiglass in, and that will be it except for the top of course that will be it except for the molding of course so I got a lot more work to do so I better get on it okay I thought I'd put a little depth and body on this with a little stain called special walnut um, not as you know dark as the other stains but it, it uh, seems to give it a nice deep look I think once I get some oil on it it'll, it'll look real nice right now it's uh, it's before noon and uh, 88.9, 89 degrees in my shop in the middle of March 2015. I think it's going to be a long, hot summer. So 
So this kind of gives you an idea of what we're looking at. I'm going to wipe this, this down, wipe it dry, and let it dry, and see where I need to go from there. Okay, for around the top uh, molding, I'm just going to use my uh, miter saw, my hand miter saw, and the little Japanese saw. And then uh, the top is three-quarter inch Baltic uh, birch plywood. I'm going to put some molding around it, as you can see. Um, and then uh, I'm going to, before I put the molding on, I'm going to glue down uh, some walnut veneer on the top just to give it a little little beauty because I didn't have enough walnut to uh, to do a top so veneer is the next best thing so let's see how that works out all right the end of uh, this project the Stanley 45 display case is well within view uh, since the last time uh, I have put a uh, the uh, hinges on the latch the handle I've got the plastic uh, plexiglass front uh, just fitted in that's got to be uh, secured I've put a uh, coat of nice walnut on uh, on the wood and then I uh, I, I used uh, I've got four coats of tongue oil on it and I was going to put some shellac on it, but I think with, with a coat of wax, I think this will look just fine. So, uh, all I've got to do is put the, secure the front glass, put the, uh, the insides in, and then set the uh, hand plane in there, and uh, it should, uh, should be uh, pretty much wrapped up. Well, I guess that's it, YouTube. That's how she's looking. Of course, you know, you can see I used different woods from, you know, I had what I, walnut I had, and boy, I used every bit of it. The back is bamboo, or the panels are bamboo. And uh, that's what an old Stanley 45 circa 1920 looks like in a display case. Well, YouTube, I guess that wraps up another project at the old shop. The Stanley Sweetheart number 45 hand plane 7 in 1 display case. <laughs> Why did I make a display case for a Stanley 45? Nah, I don't know. I just think it's unique and uh, I just had the wood and had the, the candles and everything so I thought I'd give it a shot. How did it come out? Well, I don't think it came out real bad. I'm not sure it came out real good. I, I would give myself a C on it. There was some engineering mistakes and there was some woodworking mistakes. One of the engineering mistakes is 
a, a display case closed in on all sides except for one makes it kind of dark in there unless of course you put a light in it huh. I had the light in the drawer so I stuck it in there it's maybe one step better here than in the drawer I don't know if I'll ever use it but one thing about it if you take one of these old things in and put it on your uh, your coffee table or something have some people over ask them what they guess it is and boy you get every kind of guess I, I've had people guess that it's some kind of old Civil War medical device and I've had somebody guess that it, it cut uh, pasta so I mean uh, it is a kind of a strange thing so uh, some of the mistakes I made is uh, you know I've got dados all around but uh, the, the plexiglass was supposed to go into a saw kerf and I forgot to put the saw kerf around until I glued it up I go whoops so then I had to glue the plastic on the back with silicone which took a half inch out which did you know I th could have been a disaster but luckily it worked out all right um, the uh, one thing I, I, I there was a lot of dados and grooves in here and I used a quarter inch router bit I should have run it through it an eighth of an inch and then run it through it a quarter of an inch and I had the router speed way too slow for that so I broke a router bit which wasn't good and uh, and the best thing to do is, you know, I made a few mistakes that uh, when I had to redo them, you know, the, the, the groove or the dado was just a quarter of an inch, a quarter of an inch. So I just, instead of putting a, a, the dado back on my table saw, I just nipped it off with the table saw. But unfortunately, my blade is kind of an all-purpose and it cuts kind of a V. So... It didn't look when I put it in there it didn't look all that good some of my joints are real nice and tight some of them are I veneered the top uh, which came out pretty good although I made a little mistake here I, I cut the wood to perfect put the veneer on it and then turned it over and I used a knife to cut it and, and I broke it I'm not sure if it wouldn't be better to put the veneer on and then cut it to uh, to width and length. I haven't decided that one yet. But anyway, that's it for the old Stanley 45 display case. I'll, I'll uh, take it in the house and put it on the coffee table, see what people have to think about it. So anyway, YouTube, I appreciate you stopping by. I really do. And I wish you all well. And until next time, Y'all take care now.